Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you just how easy it is to use a Bluetooth game controller like this guy to fly your Tello drone. Now if you've seen any of the clips I've done on the Tello, you already know what a huge fan of this product I am. I'm still blown away by how much engineering and technology and software they were able to pack into a tiny little drone like this for less than $100. And as much fun as this guy is to fly, either with hand gestures or using the application on your phone or your tablet through virtual joysticks, having actual joysticks really takes that enjoyment to a whole nother level for me. Now, to get started, I'm gonna explain what you need to make the connections, then I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna actually fly it and show you how it handles and show you a few tricks you can do using the joystick and buttons on the controller. Then I'll come back and do some conclusions around what kind of controller you're gonna need. I've got another clip I'm working on that I've actually bought four controllers to test out and I'll give you sort of a back and forth between those controllers to help you decide which one's the right one. And the controllers can vary considerably in price and functionality. So I'll go through that a little bit in the conclusion and then I'll spend a lot more time in another clip going through the different various controllers that are out there. So to get started, what you'll need obviously is the Tello. You'll need a phone with the application from Rise running on it and you'll need a controller. Now when you buy a controller, you wanna make sure, I'm gonna do this for iPhone today, you're gonna to make sure if you're using an iPhone, you have to have what's called an MFI certified controller, which means made for iPhone or Apple certified product. A lot of these controllers out there say, will work with an iPhone or an iPad, but they're not certified, so you're taking your chances. And these can vary in price from a couple of bucks, maybe 10 or $15, all the way up to over $100. So you wanna make sure that when you buy one, it's got that MFI certification. Now the one I'm showing you here is a Mad Catch product, and I'll put a link below for that. This is the one I use for a lot of my testing, but I have others I use. But this one's a really decent product, connects up really easily, gives you a good stable connection. So if I'm recommending one, this is the first one I'd recommend. Now the connection topology between these three guys can be a little bit confusing, but in essence what you're doing is you're connecting your phone up to the Tello through Wi-Fi, just like you would normally when you're flying it from the phone, and then you're going to tether the controller here to the phone over Bluetooth. So you're not actually flying the drone directly from the controller, it's connecting to your phone and really controlling your phone and your phone connects to the Tello and flies the Tello. Now that's important because the application that they built for this could have been a lot simpler. So when I talk about this being a brilliant device, the people that put the application together, those wizards in the software department said, you know what, we can make this thing fly with hand gestures, we can make it fly from the controller, but you know what, people might wanna use a controller with it down the road, so why don't we make that application compatible with Bluetooth tethered MFI devices? And again, that was a big step for them to do that, a lot of extra testing, a lot of extra coding, so good on you guys for always trying to be a little ahead of the curve. So once you've got the MFI certified controller, you've got the application loaded up, and you've got a Tello with a full battery, you're all ready to go. Now to set this thing up, I'll start off with the Tello. You wanna to turn this guy on first, set it down, and I'm gonna show you how to do the Wi-Fi connection. You probably already have that already, but you're gonna go on your phone or your tablet. You're gonna to go to your settings page. So bring up the settings page. And once you bring up the settings page, you'll see you have a couple of choices there on the settings page. You wanna pay attention to the Wi-Fi connection. So tap on the Wi-Fi connection. When you bring that up, if Wi-Fi is not on, obviously turn on Wi-Fi. But once you turn on Wi-Fi, you'll see Tello show up as one of the options you can connect to. Just tap on the Tello. It'll take a couple seconds. Your phone's going to talk to the Tello and make the connection. Once you see it come up top and you got the checkbox, you're all set to go. You can then open the application and you can fly the Tello from the application. That's the way you'd normally do it. But if you want to tether up a Bluetooth device like this, the first thing you'll do is turn on the device. Now with the Mad Cats, there's a button underneath. You just push that button, you'll see the lights come on. It's flashing because it's not connected to anything. So to connect up a Bluetooth device to your phone, you've got to first put that device in what's called seek mode. So it, it basically is saying, hey, I'm here. Who wants to connect to me? What's going on? So to put this guy in seek mode, there's a Bluetooth button up top. You hold that for five seconds and watch the lights on the bottom. I don't know if you can see them or not, but the lights will start flashing faster. Once you let it go. Now they're flashing at twice the rate. Now what I'll do is go back to my settings menu. And this time I'll enter the Bluetooth connection. And once I enter the Bluetooth connection, it'll show you the devices you've already discovered, but it'll also show you devices you haven't discovered yet. So in a couple of seconds, there it is. You'll see the Mad Cats controller down the bottom. Again, all I do is tap on it. It'll take a couple of seconds for it to negotiate. Once it connects up, and it's now saying connect it. Now what I've done essentially is tethered this to my phone over Bluetooth. This guy is still tethered to the, the actual Tello over Wi-Fi. That's tough to say, tethered to the Tello over Wi-Fi. So I've got it ready to go. So the setup's good to go. Now if I were to click this guy and start this drone, it would actually take off and fly. But before I do that, um, I wanna take you outside 
and show you exactly what it looks like when it's flying in the outdoors because it's kind of a small studio and I'm not sure what's going to happen if I spin it up in here. So stay tuned and we'll go outside and fly it a little bit. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and I'm heading out to do a field test to show you just how well you can use a standard game controller to fly your Tello. Now I've got a Mad Cats game controller with me. I've got a couple of fully charged Tellos. I'm heading out to my favorite field to fly. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Now I'll spend a few minutes also showing you all the controls on the remote and how they affect the flight of that Tello. And for me, adding a game controller to fly that tiny little quad is just a bundle of fun. So hang on and we'll get started. I'm out in the field near my home for the test. I've got the Tello over there on my landing pad. Here I've got a Mad Cats game controller with my iPhone in the cradle. Now the connections to the Tello are going to be done exactly the same as if you were flying it from your phone. You'll go into your settings, turn on Wi-Fi, you'll look for the Tello and you'll make the connection to the Tello through Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you'll turn on Bluetooth and make the connection to the controller. Now you know you have a good connection from the controller to the application because normally when you're flying this through the application you'll see virtual joysticks on the screen. The minute you make the connection to the controller, those virtual joysticks will disappear and all control of the quad will transfer over to this remote controller. So the minute that happens, you know the controller is taken over. Now you can also go into the application and you can find the remote controller. If you tap on that, you can actually see what the functions of the remote controller will do and how they affect the Tello when it's flying. Now I haven't changed anything yet, but even still, all of the functions I could do through the virtual application, I can now do through the controller. Even launching and landing the quad and flips, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to take off in a second using the controller and show you a couple of those functions when it's flying. Now it is a very gusty day today so the Tello is going to sort of bounce around a little bit but it'll be interesting to see how it handles the wind. Now to take off you're going to hit the bottom button and the Y button. You'll hear the Tello spin up and it'll lift off its position and of course it took right off and the wind grabbed it. So let me fly it out where you can see it a little bit. So you can see I can go forward and back, I can go left and right, I can elevate, I can sink. So all the functions you would normally have with your quad are done through the joystick, which is pretty cool. Now the other thing I've noticed too is that the lag on this is not that bad. I really thought there was going to be a bit of lag because I've got a Bluetooth connection making it over to the phone, but it turns out that's not the case. So it is very responsive. So let me try a couple of flips. Now that's accomplished with this bottom button and this four-way joystick here. So let me try and do a back flip. There you go. I also love how that Tello, once you do that flip, will take a second to orient itself. It's sort of like shaking its head, you know, trying to figure out what just happened, and then it'll find a position and stabilize again. Let me try a left flip. Pretty cool. So everything you can do, again, if I want to spin it, I can spin it and rotate it. So I've got every function I would have normally on the screen, but it gives me this tackle response of the joysticks to actually control it, which is, I don't know, for me, it's just expanded the use and the fun of this quad tremendously. So let me try and land it now. I'll land it with the same set of buttons. I'm pretty close to the landing pad, so let's see how I do. I may cheat a little bit here. Yeah, I may cheat over a little. Look at that, right down and it spins off. So there you have it. So there you go. And I think it's really cool that I can use an inexpensive Bluetooth controller like this to fly my Tello because it allows me to have physical joysticks, which is the exact same flying experience I'm gonna have when I'm outside with my larger quads. And on rainy days like this, I feel completely comfortable putting this guy up in the house and using those joysticks to improve my stick skills and keep my muscle memory sharp, knowing I'm not gonna be banging into walls and knocking over lamps. It's just a whole different experience flying with a joystick versus flying with virtual joysticks. Now I've talked a little bit about the Mad Cats controller. This is the one I use for most of my flying when I'm tethering over Bluetooth. And I like it because it's right in the middle of the price band. It uses removable batteries. It's compatible with all the quads that I wanna fly. It's MFI certified. It'll hold larger phones. So it's got everything I need for less than 30 bucks, which is a pretty good price point for these. Now, as I went through this, I tried to give you all the information you need to get started in this kind of project. If I've missed anything or you have additional questions on anything I've talked about, drop them in the comments below, and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I've got links below where you can go and find this thing on Amazon. You can go and research other controllers on there as well. I'll put a link below to the Tello. If you haven't bought this drone yet and you're looking for a starter drone, this thing is a home run. So don't wait. Get this drone right away. In addition to that, I've got other clips coming on both the Tello. I'm doing some comparisons between controllers. I've got some programming clips coming for the Tello as well, where I do some scratch programming and show you how to lift this thing off the ground using programming. But I just love putting these kind of clips together. So hopefully you guys are finding value in it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down there. We'd love to welcome you to the Drone Valley family. But again, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, happy flying. Mm -hmm.